I was committed. That was the deep or at least I should have been. So, so ex <laughs> explain the uh, process that goes on here. How you do it layer by layer. The and process. Here, stand over here because the lighting's a little better. Actually, what? A little what better. Do, there we go. To build yeah. one of these things, first you got to draw a set of plans. I don't know if you guys have ever seen. There's little plastic uh, model horses. Brand name is Briar. And that's the the only brand I'll use is Briars. You like to go for a ride? <laughs> <laughs> no courage. It's a terrible thing. A lack of courage. Why bother living? But <laughs> I like playing with people too. That's the fun part. You take the Briar model horse because they're very accurate. They're not just little toys. They're they're art. And I take them and I figure out which model I want, and then I cut that thing in half right down the middle from top to bottom right down the center front to back and I put it on a piece of graph paper and I draw the outline and that's what you call sheet number zero it goes right in the middle of the horse okay because I'm going to enlarge that onto a sheet of plywood and cut it out right. with a jigsaw then I put it in a drill press and I get a little grinder and I set it up and I take off for this one here the number came out to be seven seventeen hundredths of an inch Take off 17 hundredths of an inch, take it out, put it on a sheet of graph paper, trace around it. And you keep on doing that until that piece is gone. It's just plastic dust on the floor. Then you take the other half and you start doing the same process until you have this stack of uh, pages that are the plans and you enlarge them all onto plywood. They're indexed and numbered because my background is engineering rather than art. And I put them all together. It looks kind of like a rocking horse when I put it together. And then I have the exact same model. I buy two of the model when I go to, to get one. I put that up there, and then we start carving looking at that one. And uh, they're all glued and screwed together. Uh, the screws are kind so of back up for the... So this is in layers. Yeah, and, it's all and, layers of plywood. And one of the reasons you said that you used the plywood, plywood was because the strength? strength and the fact that I'm not a woodworker so I'm not good at joining wood if I if I tried to do normal woodworking processes How I don't think it would have came out that way this one here is uh, 21 sheets of inch and an eighth flooring the little one there is 19 sheets I bought a pallet of 40 sheets of inch and an eighth flooring took it home on the trailer and a year and a half later came out with these things <laughs> so structurally, what else could you do with these, this technique of using your uh, carving um, plywood? Well, you can build anything you want out of, this, out of this technique. 